Good afternoon, friends. Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I'm excited to announce today the first arrival uh, to our dealership here in Leduc, the all new Grand Design Reflection. This is a 2023 370 FLS. I gotta say, I've been asking for this type of floor plan for a long time uh, in the Reflection lineup. They've put the front living room uh, in the Solitude lineup for, for a bunch of years now and have done very, very well with it. But uh, uh, with the Reflection being a mid-profile, lighter weight, eight foot wide body it's going to help save you know for those uh, trucks that maybe can't handle a solitude or for people that don't necessarily want to spend the dollars on it this gets you into grand design luxury quality um, in an amazing front living room floor plan and there's a lot of things that i like about this particular trailer uh, that even goes beyond what uh, you even get in the solitude which is really really cool as well completely unique uh, layout in the front living room uh, comparatively to the solitude so it's not a carbon copy uh, but again there's a lot of things i really like on this particular model um, that we'll jump into uh, a few fun facts for you this particular trailer from the front kingpin on the trailer uh, to the rear wall is 41 feet 6 inches. Um, the unloaded vehicle weight is 11,884 pounds, um, which gives you a cargo carrying capacity of 3,111 pounds. Uh, and then of course the hitch weight at 2,312 pounds. So ideal for a one ton truck would be preferred, of course, uh, to pull a trailer like this. Also fresh water, 74 gallons gray water 87 gallons that's two gray tanks combined and then your black tank being 47 gallons so again true to form for grand design friends unbelievable capacities in the grand design quality that you get on this particular product and that's a really cool thing with grand design friends it doesn't matter what trailer you're looking at whether it's imagine reflection up through solitude in the momentums the way they manufacture their product there's a golden thread of consistency throughout the entire lineup that we're not having to apologize for with a lot of other manufacturers as you move down the line in terms of price point and profile they'll start taking things out in terms of structure and quality and those sorts of things and again with grand design you're not having to worry about that as i mentioned this is a mid profile so it's got a, a tighter lower profile up front little more aerodynamic if you will um, less wind drag again the biggest biggest thing to that is that it's going to lower the hitch weight uh, for the truck that's towing it which makes it a little bit nicer again grand design doing the aero front cap on it with the air dam that's built right into the front cap of the trailer this helps create rigidity when the front cap goes on it also helps break up that wind as as you're towing it down the highway to help reduce that vortex you can get in the back of the truck that can blow things out of the box of the truck those sorts of things so but again with grand design the structure is the most important thing you know you've got a ridge that goes up the side here as well so when that front cap goes on it goes on really nice and square again with grand design they also paint fully automotive paint the front caps as well it's not a gel coat cap you may have seen a lot of fifth wheels trailers over the years that have that cloudiness and discoloration coming down the front cap that's a you know telling you that you got a gel coat cap not a painted cap uh, this is painted so it's gonna look you know great many years down the road which is nice also the graphics that Grand Design puts on their friends or their trailer friends is a 3m graphic um, comes with a five-year warranty has a higher UV protection on it so again it's gonna it's gonna last a lot longer uh, the other thing in terms of the finish on the outside the fiberglass wall uh, they did upgrade last year to a full gel coat it's not a lamalux 1000 where you look at the fiberglass and you can see the little hairs of the fibers in the wall this has a full gel coat over top so the benefit is it's going to hold white it's like white paint for fiberglass um, it's not going to fade into color like a full lamalux 1000 will it's going to hold its color a lot better um, and if you were to ever damage the outside wall of the trailer what's nice is you can do fiberglass repair work patch it repair it paint it put that gel coat back over top and uh, you won't even see where it's been damaged which is really really nice so 
really big storage compartment. That's one of the things that separates this front living room from most other front living rooms in the industry, friends. You'll find historically front living rooms um, really didn't give you a lot of outdoor pass-through storage and the way Grand Design has configured this floor plan has given you a monstrous front uh, storage compartment. And the benefit to that is when you have a really nice big storage compartment out front, they're not having to elevate the rear of the trailer to give you storage out back. Um, which the benefit to that again is it keeps the the overall weight of the trailer lighter it brings the price down it just you know a lot of benefits come along with that so but again true to form for grand design beautiful storage compartments all aluminum framing you can see grand design there's typically more studs more floor joists thicker gauge alloy fully bead welded together on both sides it's not a screwed together chassis or frame system that you would find in a lot of other products out there so far less chances of developing those squeaks and rattles and those sorts of things as time goes on uh, which is really nice this is also a heated compartment so it you know if you're doing some colder weather use type stuff the heat gets blown down into this cavity and this actually creates a nice warm air pocket between your front living room up top and the outside which is nice so again true to form for grand design you have no plumbing running through the middle of the compartment uh, seamless flat vinyl flooring very very clean very smooth easy to pull contents in and out of the trailer one thing I will say We've done nothing to this trailer. I just checked it in. It just got dropped off from the factory. So you're seeing this trailer as though it just made a 2000 mile journey to our dealership. And this is a true testament of who Grand Design is, the company they are, um, and the products they're producing and the commitment to customer service and quality is uh, second to none. Um, you know, with a lot of other products over the years, friends, we've literally had to be the last 80 feet of the assembly line or more. Uh, and we didn't want you walking through the trailers before we take you through it. Hey, you get the first shot here on this particular video. And I would walk any customer visiting our dealership out to this trailer and take them through it. So again, beautiful thing about Grand Design. Uh, Nautilus P4 utility center on this one. It's all color coded, very easy to use. You bypass your water heater through this system here as well. It's got a black tank flush. Um, you can turn your water pump switch or your water pump on through here as well. Outside shower, hot and cold tap. Just a really nice functional system which Grand Design has been using for years now. You can run your fresh water lines up through the um, through this porthole access. You have 110 plugs, all the coax cables, cables if you want to run satellite uh, as well. No problem whatsoever. So again, beautiful, beautiful storage compartment. Um, here's your dock or your control module for your auto leveling system. Tire link. Uh, comes with it tire pressure monitoring uh, comes with this trailer as well so beautiful system you've got the 35,000 BTU furnace again shot in on the the leveling leg there the front middle leg there I'm just going to show you the underbelly of the trailer again fully enclosed insulated heated with your furnace running you've got uh, a heat duct that blows down or several heat ducts blowing heat down into that holding tank cavity again grand design insulates their whole underbelly you have an r30 all the way through the floor and then they also run 12 volt thermostatically controlled heat blankets on each of the tanks as well so very very clean system uh, we have a lot of people up here in canada using their grand designs through uh, winter time and uh doing it no problem so and there's a drain for your fresh water tank beautiful easy to pull easy to drain all those things um, again Goodyear endurance 16 inch tires uh, they like the brand name comes with a beautiful warranty five-year warranty 12 months no questions asked replacement they also have the more ride CRE three set thousand suspension system which really helps create a nice smooth ride for your uh, for your trailer protecting the contents protecting the life of your trailer uh, just really help making a nice smooth ride there versus not having it nitrogen filled of course you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway um, really easy to save yourself you know hundreds of dollars uh, from having us do it of course we don't mind doing it as a service if you'd like us to do it um, the cool thing is they've gone to the curt axles which actually this trailer comes with abs 
anti-lock braking system. It's industry, new to the industry. It's a very exciting feature. So for those people that are a little more gun shy towing their trailer, super, super nice uh, uh, towing feature that comes standard with this particular trailer. So um, also this is your Furion on-demand continuous water heater. Uh, it's propane only, has the cold protection package on it as well. So you can use it in colder, colder weather, um, but you'll run out of fresh water before you uh, uh, run, well, you'll run out of hot water before you run out of fresh water, uh, if you know what I mean. So, sorry, I said that wrong. You will run out of fresh water before you'll run out of hot water. That's what it's supposed to mean. Anyway, Forgive me, I don't edit these videos. I shoot them straight from the heart, do a little bit of research, understand the capacities, and we let them rip. So we believe in Grand Design and their products. So uh, rear bedroom, of course, being a front living room. Beautiful outdoor storage compartment here at the back as well. So really nice setup. Still have the receiver hitch on the back. That's a 300 pound rated hitch uh, for hitch weight, 3000 pounds towing. The likelihood of you towing something behind is pretty rare, but because of the length of the fifth wheel. Um, but you know, if you're pulling a, putting a bike rack on the rear and you've got those heavier, you know, electric bikes, uh, 300 pound rating is what that's rated to handle. No problem. Uh, again, grand design, true to form ladders on the rear of all of their trailers full walk on roof full walk on slide box we'll get up there shortly and show you but again again grand design right from the very beginning building their trailers to support their three-year structural warranty they were the first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty things that they do to their trailers that a lot of other manufacturers don't do is they frame in all the window openings with aluminum tubing that's fully welded into the superstructure of the aluminum in the sidewalls fully laminated together very very strong very important a lot of manufacturers do not frame out their window openings with aluminum the other thing grand design does friends is they stuff the wood dowels or sorry the aluminum tubes in the trailer with wood dowels where you have you know a rear wall coming together to a side wall uh, around all your slide box like for example in the wall where you would have an aluminum tube running through in the wall through this portion all these steel screws don't just go into a hollow aluminum tube. Hol aluminum softer than steel. Steel screw wears a hole bigger. Corner moldings pull away. Moisture works its way in. All right. Grand Design, what they do is they stuff those aluminum tubes with wood dowels to support that steel screw. They use a mylar tape seal. There's no butyl putty on this trailer at all. So you don't have to worry about pulling corner moldings off you know, replacing butyl putty after, you know, a bunch of years. The only thing you have to maintain on this trailer is the silicone cap seal, which is very, very easy to do. And a tube of silicone is very, very inexpensive from your local hardware store. So beautiful, easy. The, that's the thing with Grand Design is they're thinking of how the maintenance is, how you're using the trailer and making it really, really easy for you. Okay. The other thing that they would do is um, where like, for example, this awning attaches right here, these steel screws most likely will either go into a, either an aluminum tube stuffed with a wood dowel, or they will laminate inside the wall a sheet of steel for that uh, awning to mount to. Same with the ladder on the back, those sorts of things. So again, very, very important that they're putting that structure into the sidewalls, into the build structure of the trailer uh, for it to stand the test of time. And I can tell you friends, Grand Design Building for as many years as they have now, I will look at any pre-owned Grand Design trailer and pay more for it on a resale, on a, you know, if I'm buying the trailer back from somebody or we're bringing it on trade, we're buying it back from the customer, I'm gonna put way more money into a good quality pre-owned Grand Design trailer that's well taken care of than any other brand on the market. So, uh, beautiful thing, you've got dual awnings, both 14 feet, 28 feet total. So if you're at that campsite and you've got a tree in the way, you've got another awning to fall back onto, but beautiful awning space. You can set up an amazing outdoor um, camping area, if you will. So we'll shoot up onto the uh, pass-through storage there again. All well lit, motion sensor lighting. So we're gonna get go inside here, up on the roof first and back inside. If you're wondering, hey Clayton, you're sure talking a lot on the outside of the trailer, just go to the bottom of your screen, grab that little red dot, slide it over to where you see me go inside. And uh, that's where we'll be. So uh, we're gonna jump back here and uh, 
head up on the roof. I'm gonna turn it off and then we'll be right back. Just one moment. Hey guys, we're back. We're up on the roof of this 2023 Reflection 370 FLS. And uh, yeah, we're up on the roof here. Okay, so we've got a 16 inch on center wood truss um, with a full wood decking up on top, screwed down. R43 roof, it's the same roof that Grand Design puts on every single RV they produce. Uh, the, the membrane that sits up on top of this roof, friends, is manufactured by Alpha, and uh, all the sealant they use is produced by Alpha as well. So the really nice thing is that Grand Design full walk-on roof, it'll handle a snow load, a melting snow load, which is really nice. Um, they don't put laminated roofs on any of their trailers. and. The benefit to that, and I've camped in all sorts of trailers myself, and laminated roofs I struggle with because they're hotter on the inside of the trailers. They heat up um, ridiculously hot um, when the sun's beaten down on it. Um, but if you're doing any amount of colder weather type camping and you're needing to run your furnace, um, that furnace heat, propane heat has moisture in it. Um, if you're cooking, if you're you know showering, that laminated roof, unless you open up all the vents inside the trailer, turn on the fans to allow that moisture to escape, um, you're going to get condensation droplets building up on the inside of your trailer. It's just a fact. Um, I've had it happen many times. So the beautiful thing with Grand Design is, again, 16 inch on center, wood truss, wood decking, Alpha Super Flex roof membrane. It's a TPO roof membrane. Has, I forget, it's like a 17, 18 year warranty on it. Uh, they put, put attic vents in the roof. A uh, little different system, but very similar to what you'd have in your house in terms of having that ventilation for heat to escape when it's super hot out, to allow that moisture to escape when it's colder and you're using the trailer in that inclement weather. Um, it's just a really nice roof. And again, that cold, golden thread of consistency that Grand Design has is throughout the entire lineup. So this roof is the same thing that we have on a Transcend where Grand Design starts their trailers. So beautiful system, same as a Solitude, same as an Imagine, all of those things. So 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioner. Um, also, this has the uh, upgraded solar package on it. This gives you a 370 watt solar panel um, and a 50 amp charge controller. So you can actually add another panel to the trailer if you wanted to uh, add a little bit more solar as well. So again, Grand Design vents in all the trailers. Uh, one in your living room, one in your kitchen with the big fan, uh, one in your bathroom back here, one in your bedroom. And then again, you've got your uh, attic vents. You've got two of them in this trailer. It's a large one, so they put two of them in. And then you've got all your vents for your holding tanks with the pipes that run up to the roof. So again, beautiful roof. I can stand on the slide boxes, get up here, sweep off the top of the slides, those sorts of things. So again, the, the, the usability of this trailer is so much nicer than a lot of others out there. So we're gonna head down and uh, head inside. Just a moment. Okay, we're gonna head inside this trailer. But one thing I wanted to say before we go in um, is this type of trailer would be appealing to somebody that, I mean, one is towing it around. You know, if you wanted to head south for the winter, um, this would be an amazing unit to do some full-time living in. Um, it would be another great unit if you didn't want to tow it around and maybe just set it up on a seasonal site. Um, beautiful for that, you know, at 41 and a half feet long, it's a big fifth wheel but uh, would be beautiful for a seasonal site. You know, you could build a beautiful deck off the side of the trailer and just have an absolutely beautiful uh, seasonal site camping space. So um, we're in the kitchen on this th 370 FLS reflection. And I'm just gonna kind of show you around here. There's not a walk around island on this particular model. Um, you know, we've heard some comments from people that they like to have the kitchen island. There's other models that Grand Design builds that offer the, the island. But one of the benefits to not having it that I like about this is it actually keeps your campsite a little tighter, you know, depending on where, you know, the placement of the trailer on your seasonal site, if you will, your campsite, you may be able to slide it in, you know, your, your slide outs on the, on the driver's side of the trailer um, sit up higher. So you're not really restricted by bushes and things that your slide, your main slide might run into. 
um, where you've got the slide out on this side. So I think, you know, in my, you know, in all the camping I've done and, and RVs that I've used and backing trailers into seasonal sites, um, having it where you can just get a little bit more camp space, a little more usability on the door side of your trailer is really nice. So anyway, good counter space here. You've got the convenience compass connect system so you can connect to the trailer bluetooth style uh, operate the awnings operate the slide out operate the the uh the leveling operate the lighting and that's all connected right through here and there's the monitor for your solar battery uh, monitor as well so compass connect a little back up on the curt abs system but beautiful storage this has the river rock interior that's new for this year um you know they went a whole lot lighter has a lot more gray tones to it they still stuck true to form though it's a solid wood door reversed raised panel it's not a real flat flat panel shaker style door so this is a much stronger door grand designs known for their cabinetry they're not holding back this is a, a fully screwed together again where the you see screws going into the outside wall there will be a sheet of steel laminated in the wall for that steel for that steel screw to go into but they add shelves you know beautiful amounts of of storage in this particular trailer all european hidden hinges just a really nice cabinet. It's actually the same style of cabinet they had in the predecessor to this in the pebble interior, just a whole lot lighter. I thought, I think they just absolutely nailed the interior color. This has a neat little pantry, almost like a walk-in style, if you will. So beautiful, beautiful pantry beside your 16 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. We'll pop this puppy open for you. These have worked absolutely fantastic. The nice thing with a 12 volt refrigerator is they're not, you don't have to have them, the rear of the fridge mounted to the outside wall of the trailer with venting. So they're not at the mercy of the ambient temperature outside. We've had for years now issues with gas, gas fridges not getting to proper temperature because they're cooled by the temperature, the ambient temperature on the outside of the trailer. So if it's 35 degrees Celsius outside, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, forgive me for our friends down south, but when you're sucking that 35 degrees Celsius back in to try to cool your gas fridge, it ain't gonna do the job. Where this particular fridge is not at the mercy of needing that. Um, compressor fridge, very, very quiet. It'll cool to proper temp in like an hour and a half, two hours. And once it's at that temperature, it, it, it works fantastic. And part of the reason why we're seeing a shift to 12 volt fridges in the industry and why we're seeing a lot more solar on the trailers. The beautiful thing is you're not having to worry about filling up your propane to you know, run your fridge. Your solar panel replaces the fuel to run the, uh, run the fridge, which is nice. We can get into more details about that, but this fridge isn't in a typical placement in an RV, centrally mounted, but again, not needing those vents at the back um, and again a very large fridge as well so I optioned in the dual pane uh, insulated windows on this trailer as well we do that on all of our reflections that are in this class for people that want to use colder weather uh, do some colder weather stuff now you're not getting a big R value increase with the benefit is it's much quieter window um, as well as you don't get the condensation building up on it like you would a single pane so front living room You've got your 5,000 BTU fireplace. So the heating capability of this trailer, friends, is 40,000 BTUs with that 35,000 BTU furnace and the fireplace. You've got your TCL Roku TV. Nice storage shelves there. Um, just a really well put together uh, entertainment system. Windows on either side. Tri-fold sofa. So each full sofa will fold out and make into a bed as well. And then you've got your um, theater seating with heat and massage. I like it because this is actually quite a distance. It's quite long here in the front. Like I would envision at a seasonal site rolling out a nice area rug that matches nice, putting a coffee table here in the middle and just really making it just like home. I think you could do an amazing job just setting this thing up as a little mini cottage, if you will. So 
Again, very strong floor. Grand Design known for their flooring. This is a, a one-piece floor. Um, it's called Big Board. There's no seams in this floor whatsoever. For, so from side to side, front to back, in the entire trailer, there is no seams whatsoever. So Grand Design, trailers towing, going down the road, flexing and stressing. They're really putting that structure in the trailer to help reduce the chances of you developing those squeaks and rattles over time. And again, no heat ducts in the floor. They port all of their heat out through the, the ducts that get ported through the cabinetry better heat distribution. Uh, they're not gonna turn into dirt collectors and dust traps and those sorts of things, uh, which is nice. Huge, deep cabinet, just like home. Just like home. So we're gonna head back. Oh, one thing, the dinette. Um, you can take this ottoman and you can move that up front if you wanted. It's just a piece of furniture. It's got storage in it as well. Um, you can take your back cushion off this wall here and then flip one of these other chairs around to the other side and make it a two person dinette if you want. This is the freestanding dinette that Grand Design offers in the reflection in all of the models. Um, and so a lot of flexibility with their dinette, which is nice. So. Uh, you got the escape door, so let's see if you got the grandkids up front. You've tucked them into bed, and uh, you know, grandma and grandpa want to sneak in and use the bathroom, or you're traveling from point A to point B. You know, you're heading out to Cologne or something from Edmonton, and the trailer's all sealed up. This door right across from your bathroom. Beautiful setup. I love this. It's one of the features I love about this floor plan is easy access to the bathroom, even with all the slides closed. Uh, which is really, really nice. So, again, great big one-piece fiberglass shower, glass doors, beautiful setup, storage above the, the toilet here, shelving. They've done just such a nice job. There's a max fan there as well. So you've got one in your kitchen, one in your bathroom, porcelain foot flush toilet. You've got the control module for your Furion on-demand water heater continuous water heater again you'll run out of water before you run out of hot water and then again three drawers in your in your uh, kitchen and then your beautiful vanity here as well so again i challenge you friends when you're looking at a grand design trailer doesn't matter if you're comparing it to something else not built by grand designs i i, I encourage you i challenge you count the amount of drawers we often go to the drawers, we go to the, the, the light switches, we go to the electrical outlets, we talk about the structure, we talk about a lot of things, but you know there is a difference when you're comparing Grand Design to most other brands out there. Grand Design isn't afraid to spend the extra bucks on the things that'll add more value to your trailer and uh, create a better camping experience. King size bed in this particular model, you can do it with a queen. Uh, you would just get a little, a little small night table on each side. Uh, of the bed if you wanted to go to the queen but this is a full uh, king bed and then uh, storage beautiful storage underneath and then what do we got here two two big drawers Oop, what happened there pulled on that there we go drawer and then we've got the if you wanted this is i'm gonna say washer dryer hookup yep combination washer dryer hookup or hanging storage with a shelf beautiful storage and then uh, you got a nice wardrobe there at the foot of the bed four more drawers so six drawers in this bedroom which is nice lots of windows windows all the way around windows on either side of your bed for cross ventilation and then storage above so beautiful trailer grand design reflection the all-new first one to our dealership 370 FLS. We're very excited to have this trailer. Tony Lizzie and the team down there at Grand Design always pushing the envelope to come out with the newest, hottest floor plans. All new updates being, you know, very forward thinking with the ABS um, braking on this particular trailer with the new Kurt axle, tire link, tire pressure monitoring. You can add the rear vision camera if you are going to be towing the trailer. Um, the upgraded solar, the bigger fridge, I mean, and all the other stuff that make Grand Design super special. So, love to host you to our dealership here in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. My name's Clayton Phillips. Thank you for those that hang out with me. 
watching these videos. I know I talk a lot, but we want to get you, get you a lot of good value if you're looking at buying a trailer like this. It's a big investment, and we want to make sure you know what you're getting into and, and uh, all the great things that come along with that investment. So anyway, take care, be safe, happy camping, and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.